FBI Director James Comey's firing finally happened yesterday and although it was long overdue, it was still shocking nonetheless. When President Donald Trump promised to drain the swamp he truly meant it and proved that yesterday. Comey likely didn't see his termination coming, so when he was handed the letter written by the president at the urging of Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General, he was so shocked that he and everyone else missed the secret code Trump included in the memo that's just been revealed today. Firing the director of the FBI is a bold move that only Trump would make, who had good reason to after Comey's handling of the Hillary Clinton investigation. It wasn't just a single oversight or move made without months of chances. As Greg Jarrett perfectly pointed out for Fox News, Comey deserved to be fired. It should have happened a long time ago. Specifically, July 5th. 2016 when he held a very public news conference to announce Hillary Clinton should not be criminally prosecuted for mishandling classified information and jeopardizing national security, Jarrett stated in his piece. He should have been fired again when he sent a letter to congressional leaders reopening the Clinton case, knowing full well it would be made public just days before the presidential election, he further explained. Garrett's explanation of Trump's reason to terminate Comey makes sense to reasonable people not looking for ways to hate everything this particular president does. However, MSNBC claims that the president be so bothered by how Comey handled the investigation that he had to fire him is so plainly absurd, it's alarming that anyone in the West Wing would expect anyone to believe such transparent nonsense. What's truly alarming is what liberal are willing to overlook, namely the deaths of Americans in Benghazi and Hillary Clinton's hand in it by not investigating it. Instead, distractions of false allegations of a conspiracy President Trump has with Russia was being investigated the last two months. Comey failed to do his job and catered to liberals instead of the truth, as a holdover from the Obama administration and had to go. After so much defiance and resistance to our commander-in-chief, Trump got the last laugh in two words that says it all, using Comey's termination letter to say it. Stefan Malinuk said he cracked the code that the president cleverly hid in the letter, pointing out what he uncovered on Twitter. It couldn't have been a coincidence what Malinuk's keen eye caught, in the specific way the memo was written to send a clear message down the side of the text with a few of the first letters from several lines saying one thing I won. Trump won indeed, after being investigated by his own FBI for no apparent reason on the fake news of his alleged involvement with Russia. It was a waste of time and resources and he got his vindication yesterday in firing the seemingly vindictive director of the FBI. Our president is never one to hide what he's thinking and is known for winning, so it makes perfect sense that he would code the letter with this sentiment. It was the perfect response for what he was put through in a burn to the man who led the charge against him instead of Hillary. Now, Trump is in the position to win again with putting the right person in Comey's place at the FBI. The frontrunner to follow him is Trey Gowdy who has relentlessly gone after Hillary over Benghazi. Selecting him to replace Comey would send another message to the former director, as well as Hillary who is no longer safe with an Obama holdover leading the FBI. Some argue that the final message within the termination memo was unintentional, but even so, it was karma playing out twice if that was truly the case. One could look at text all day and not find a word or phrase created in perfect order out of the first letters of the margin especially one with such poetic justice as saying I won to your nemesis while firing him, as well to the man who hired him, Barack Obama, and the woman, Hillary Clinton, who may actually be investigated now with a new director in charge. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.